All right, today's lesson is going to be about um, being creative, okay? Being creative, go to Google and find an animal of any nature. I don't care what it is. I'm going to pick a giraffe, I think. I don't know why. It's just one of those things. Um, I feel like doodling on a giraffe. And I'm looking for a giraffe that's all by himself in a really cool pose. I think this one will work. So what I'm going to do is copy this image and bring it into Photoshop for a second. Onto my sketch pad. Then what I'm going to do is kind of size it, size it up. The purpose of this exercise is to identify shapes and form. Okay. Let's make a new layer. And I'm going to take this layer and actually opacity it down. A little opacity. And take my sketch brush. Kind of zoom in on it. All right, now that I look at it, you know, I'm going to start identifying major shapes within the body. Uh, some people would, you know, start drawing this right off the bat over the top of it or whatever. I just want to kind of show you this, however, you know, it's just, it's all about shape and how it comes into play. So I'm looking at shapes like that. that this so I want you to do this I want you to find an animal online and I want you to kind of trace out the major shapes in it Be as vague as possible. Do not get in, in any detail at all. I don't want to see detail in these. In fact, you know, as a student, I'm going to ask you to see your before and after. Okay, so this one, it's a big, huge ball right here. And here's another big, huge ball right here. And this, I have a huge ball here and a huge ball here. This is a cylinder that goes all the way down. And if you can't see this, let's see, I can maybe throw back the opacity just a little bit more to kind of give you an idea of what I'm doing here. See? And if you look at the shapes here, they're all just about the same. They're all big, elongated tube spheres. But if you can break something up into, you know, these tubes, you could draw just about anything, really. There's nothing that you can't draw with just big subjective sphere balls, okay? Now, here's the thing. I don't want you to use the reference in the background. I want you to uh, basically take what you've drawn out as far as the shapes go and use it to create something on top of the giraffe or animal or whatever you have. 
using shapes. Okay. So, you know, I would feel good about having you turn in a before and after. Let's say I make a before and after. Let's go save as. And this is going to be my before picture. So, on my desktop, and I would put my like zero, two, three, four, or whatever it is. You, you'll know in my classroom what these numbers represent right in back of it. Okay, and this is going to be a, a B for before. Okay. There. And now I'm going to also save another one as after. And in the next video, what I'm going to do is start kind of uh, showing you what I'm looking for in an overall design process using this method. This is a great method to start thinking shapes and adding to stuff. All right. So on to the next video.